a very good evening everyone i am himani dhamija vice counsel at consulate general of india san francisco with privilege and great pleasure i welcome you all here today honorable consul general deputy consul general leading community members media and fellow colleagues today we all have come together to celebrate the launch of chalo india global diaspora campaign india under the leadership of honorable prime minister modi has always attached a great deal of importance to its overseas community the core belief behind this is that our overseas community is a natural ambassador of india's heritage and culture and it plays a crucial role in strengthening india's position in global order and pushing the nation closer to its aspiration of becoming a superpower driven by this belief and under the aegis of prime minister modi ministry of tourism has launched this campaign giving every one of us a chance to become incredible india ambassador it's a call from the leadership for members of the indian diaspora to encourage their non indian friends to travel to india aiming to boost the country's tourism industry and to and to make it a top tourist destination worldwide on this note i would now like to invite honorable consul general dr k shrikar reddy to come on stage and address the gathering yeah good evening namaskar sat sri akal to all the distinguished members of the indian community in bay area so as my colleague himani mentioned uh, we have gathered here today in connection with the special campaign launched by the honorable prime minister narendra modi ji yesterday evening it is chalo india global diaspora campaign so as himani mentioned uh, this is to involve all the members of the diaspora community abroad we have close to 30 million indian diaspora all over the world and out of which 16 of the diaspora community is in the united states we have now close to over 5 million members of indian diaspora in the us so the basic objective of the campaign is to make people's involvement all the members of the diaspora involving like jan bagidari in making atulya bharat which is uh, like each one of you will be serving as ambassadors of the incredible india campaign which is a campaign to promote india's tourism industry as you are all aware honorable prime minister has called upon all indians to become part in making india a developed country by 2047 so especially in the tourism industry while as you are aware india has everything we have good landscapes we have history we have culture everything we have art we have crafts we have music so in many thing we have in india but still especially with regard to the attracting international tourists india is lagging so before covid in the year 2019 india attracted around 10.7 million tourists which has come down drastically due to covid in 2020 but now it is picking and uh, we have achieved around 70% of the pre covid level but even globally also before covid in the year 2019 so there were close to 1.5 billion tourists globally and uh, overall they were also contributing 1.5 trillion to the global economy but india is receiving only 2% in terms of the uh, the tourist spending in india which is around 20 billion dollars i think the the basic purpose of the campaign is to make all the members of the indian diaspora to promote indian tourism so there is a website which has been launched yesterday chalo india i think this will become active from 1st of april wherein it will allow each member of the indian community to create a account and 
suggest five names, I mean, non-Indian names, non-Indian foreigners, I mean, non-Indian Americans or other nationalities living in U.S., for example, so to register and encourage them to visit India. So the government will also recognize the efforts of the members of Indian community, especially uh, they will also try to recognize during the Pravasi Bharatiya Divas, depending on the the whatever uh, the number and uh, the contribution by the individual members of the Indian community, there will be recognition and also some other recognition in, in coordination with the private companies involved in travel trade uh, will be there. Basically, as you are aware, tourism is an important employment generator in India. Currently, around 8 percent of Indian employment, which is close to 40 million, means 4 crores jobs are in the tourism industry. So, tourism industry provides direct employment to hotels, resorts and also restaurants and other like uh, travel agencies, tour operators and transport providers. It also provides indirect employment to people in the food and beverage industry, handicrafts. So that's why it is a big employment generator. And if you like, the spending of the foreign tourists in India is much more when compared to the spending of the foreign tourists in countries like Vietnam where I was serving earlier. So if you send one foreign tourist in India, because we have so many sp uh, places, somebody is interested in Himalayas or somebody can go to Kerala for Ayurveda or beaches, we have somebody wants to visit uh, some uh, like tiger, want to see a tiger or an ele elephant. We, we have a lot of different flora and fauna also. In addition to culture, now we also have various kinds of, we, we are also like having history and also even we have having modern shopping complex and everything in some city so that there can mix of fun and also they can combine with uh, uh, history kind of thing. So that is objective. I hope each one of you present here, you will not only participate actively in this campaign, but also inform other members of the Indian community because in the Bay Area itself, we have close to 400,000 members of the Indian diaspora. So imagine 400,000 into 5 means you can push around 2 million tourists into India from being in Bay Area alone if you follow the, the request uh, from the Honorable Prime Minister. So that is the objective of today's uh, program. We will be playing the a speech of the Honorable Prime Minister which he gave yesterday in Srinagar while launching this uh, program and also he launched other schemes uh, in Kashmir and also other parts of India. And uh, secondly, because tomorrow we will be celebrating the International Women's Day, I would like to extend my warm greetings to all the uh, women members of the Indian diaspora present here. Because uh, last year was very significant in terms of women's empowerment in India because as you are aware, the Indian Parliament has passed the, the Women Empowerment Bill which is called Nari Shakti, Nari Shakti Vandan Adhiniyam Bill. So, this is a very landmark giving 33 percent reservation in the India's lower house of the Parliament which is Lok Sabha and also the, all the state assemblies. And now, Indian women are surpassing men in many fields, you name education or any, any, any field employment, any sector you name, even entrepreneurship, women are doing very well, especially being a medical doctor, Dr. Jopra can also watch. So, in most of the medical colleges, I think close to 80 percent uh, uh, students are I mean, girl, girl, girls. So, even like uh, Indian uh, government programs like uh, Beti Bachao, Beti Padao. So, this is also helping more women to enroll into the school and also like now even government has given equal uh, like uh, share in the property, ancestral property for women. So, these kind of measures including now the bill passed by the Indian Parliament giving women reservation in the Lok Sabha and assemblies. So, this will go a long way in empowering women in India and as you are aware, we are honored to have the woman as the president of India. So that is also a great thing. So I wish all the women good luck for uh, because of this uh, tomorrow celebration. So thank you very before concluding I would like to thank our partners like we have Festival of Globe Dr. Ramesh Japraji here. We have Association of Indo Americans. I think uh, Ramesh Konda has left I think and we have India Community Center 
We have Manoj Goyalji here and also Raj Desai. We would like to thank you all for partnering and making this event. Uh, I can see the large participation despite very short notice. Thank you very much for participation. Thank you. देखिए भारत इतना महान देश है भारत के प्रति हम लोग इतना गर्व करते हैं मैं दुनिया में हमारे जितने देशवासी रहते हैं दुनिया के किसी भी कित कोने में कह रहते हैं उनसे मेरा एक आग्रह है आप कम से कम हर वर्ष हर वर्ष पांच नॉन इंडियन फ्रेंड्स इंडियन नहीं पांच नॉन इंडियन फ्रेंड्स को हिंदुस्तान देखने के लिए भेजने का काम कर सकते हैं तो प्रेरित कर सकते हैं अभी से टारगेट कीजिए हाँ इन पांच को तो मुझे हिंदुस्तान देखने के लिए भेजना है और फिर उसको समझाइए देखिए हमारे यहाँ दक्षिण में ये है तमिलनाडु में ये है ओडिशा में ये है बंगाल में ये है जाइए आपको कल्पना है दोस्तों आप दुनिया की कितनी बड़ी ताकत बन जाओगे और आप देखिए देखते ही देखते दुनिया के लिए एक ही डेस्टिनेशन बन जाएगा चलो इंडिया It is now your chance to become an incredible India ambassador and join the Chalo India movement. Simply log on to the Chalo India website and create your profile. Upon creating your profile, you will receive a set of unique codes. For each available code, enter the details of the foreign friend whom you would wish to travel to India. Encourage your friends to travel to India using images, videos and other information available on the Chalo India website. And once your friend completes the trip to India, you will be rewarded for your efforts in contributing to the Chalo India movement. Indeed, it was a very powerful message from our honorable Prime Minister. As I earlier said, this campaign is a call from the leadership. for the members of the indian community to contribute to take our india forward i believe with this campaign we are definitely going to witness how each of our individual contribution will propel india to become the top tourism destination worldwide and definitely it would be an incredible achievement moving forward i would like to invite some of the distinguished member of the community to come on stage and share their views and comments first i would like to invite anurag meril professor stanford university hello india uh i just want to uh thank the honorable prime minister for uh giving out this call i just want to say three very quick things uh, i'm a professor at school of medicine and i uh mentor a lot of students and last year i took 20 scholars from stanford to visit india and i'm taking them again this december so uh, and these are all non indian students all 20 of them said they are very impressed by what india is doing and they're going to come back and work in india for india us partnership um so that's that's one thing i want to say second thing i want to say is there is a student group at stanford called cypex stanford india policy and economics club and that club has been for the last 3 years working on engaging um stanford students and united states with india um not just for education but also um future professional development and and collaboration between the two countries these are uh, creme de la creme of american society and they are very interested uh, in working with india and cypec the student group is is facilitating it uh, as a faculty mentor to this group i have seen them uh engage a lot of students and we just had a conference on saturday uh leaders of tomorrow conference where 225 students joined and our honorable uh, council general deputy council general and rest of the consulate team was there to support and to speak at that conference so i just want to thank the consulate for facilitating and supporting that engagement and that will lead to a lot of people going to chalo india uh to to go to india basically to follow the chalo india call um one last thing else i want to say is that 
Uh, I'm on behalf of the SIPEC uh, student leadership group. I would uh, there is a plaque that that is actually being put together for uh, um, the consul consul general and his team for facilitating this. So I just want to announce that uh, that recognition, and I want to thank again consul for consul general for for uh, facilitating it. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Merrill, for your kind words. Next, I would like to invite Shri Manoj Goel, who is CEO of the Indian Community Center. तो मोदी जी की भाषा में मैं यहाँ का चौकीदार हूँ मनोज गोयल मैंने अभी एक महीना पहले ज्वाइन किया है राज देसाई जो पीछे खड़े हैं राज आठ साल बाद रिटायर होने का इनका विचार आया है बट माननीय डॉक्टर रेड्डी जी माननीय राकेश जी और सब उपस्थित सज्जनों और सजनियों आप सबका यहाँ बहुत बहुत स्वागत है और हमारा बड़ा प्रेम रहा है कौंसल जनरल ऑफिस से इनके स्टाफ से कोविड टाइम पे भी इन्होंने बहुत सहयोग दिया और जब भी कोई इनका प्रोग्राम होता है हमें याद करते हैं तो आगे भी याद करते रहेंगे धन्यवाद थैंक यू मिस्टर गोयल एंड थैंक यू आईसीसी टीम फॉर फैसिलिटेटिंग टूडेज इवेंट नेक्स्ट आई वुड लाइक टू इनवाइट मिस्टर रोमेश चापड़ा ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ फॉग एसोसिएशन डॉक्टर रोमेश चापड़ा ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ फॉग एसोसिएशन टू कम ऑन स्टेज एंड से यू वर्ड्स Thank you, thank you so much. Good evening, uh, Namaste. Uh, once again, uh, we always been impressed with the Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi ji, but uh, today I want to thank CGI, the Consul General of India, uh, Shri Kar Dr. Reddy, uh, who has uh, initiated this uh, vartalap right here after the call from back home in India, and of course our. Uh, DCG as well, Rakesh okay, Adlakha ji. Thank you so so much. And uh, on behalf of all our community activists, uh, I think uh, we welcome this campaign, this challenge, this initiative, which is uh, so huge. Uh, not only just for for India, but us as global diaspora members as well. If India looks good, we all look good. That's been the motto all along. and uh, it's not going to only help our roots our bharat but also all the global indians living in america or any other country also going to benefit a lot from this because our children grandchildren coming up they're going to always remember their roots and they will go only if india has a status in the in the world and uh, from fifth largest economy right now and probably another 10 year becoming uh, the third and then like modi said 2047 after 100 years of our independence it'll become uh, number 2 and then i think only can become number 1 after that uh, so <laughs> i think we are on the go on the ascending path absolutely i think we deserve to do it and we need to contribute that i think how we can contribute of course as we said as individuals all our friends we can invite our non desi friends and encourage them to to come uh, to go visit india tour india i uh, think lots uh, lots to see and especially now uh, with what is coming up our new vatican ayodhya i think a lot more people can go uh, we all been to rome uh, to, to the vatican ourselves even as uh, hindus and as non uh, christians similarly our other friends the christians uh, jews uh, muslims and everybody else must go to uh, ayodhya as well and back home and there's a lot more like uh, cg said to uh, to go over there and there's a lot to see so we can encourage them and of course uh, places we work i think uh, that is the best place where we can encourage uh, our uh, colleagues whether you work in a hospital whether you work in a corporate world uh, even a small uh, business out there we have a lot of uh, our uh, colleagues comrades uh, who are non desis and i think they are the best people to encourage them next of course uh, as our organizations we um, interact with a lot of uh, non desi people we do a lot of festivals a lot of uh, other uh, events and especially a professional events whether it's a uh, it or 
or whether it's uh, even medical, professional, hotel, motel, uh, many of these uh, organizations, we have a lot of non-Desi people involved. We should uh, encourage uh, those people as well. And many of us have taken trips, like uh, just like Anurag mentioned, he's uh, done that and I've done that uh, in the past. Uh, one of the areas where we have had uh, sister cities here, like uh, the first one with the sister city in Fremont and, and uh, Jaipur we made the sister city, then Union City, Jalandhar we made it, Pune and San Jose, then we have Cupertino, Bhubaneswar, we have San Francisco, Bangalore. So we've had a lot of these sister cities and I think we should revive that and take these people uh, from the city, the staff and everybody else and some of the business people, some of these other uh, politicians and everybody else to back home and encourage them and maybe uh, facilitate it going with them. Uh, I think uh, that is another way to, to really facilitate this Chalo India uh, movement. So there, there are lots of different ways I think uh, we can facilitate, we can make it happen and we should be proud of it. I'm honored to be part of this and we'll do our best through our resources, uh, whether it's through the media or through social media or any other way through our organizations and association. We would love to participate. Thank you for uh, bringing it to our attention. Once again, Chalo India! Thank you, Dr. Jabra, for your ins insightful remarks. Uh, now I would like to invite Mr. Kalyan Kattamori to come on stage on behalf of Association of Indo-Americans. Thank you. Honorable Consul General uh, Dr. Srikar Edigaru and friends, uh, my name is uh, Kalyan Kattamuri and I'm representing Association of Indo-Americans. Uh, AIA is a coalition of uh, 45 plus different non-profit uh, Indian origin organizations in the Silicon Valley and uh, one of our main goals is to promote Indian culture and heritage by collaborating with our communities. Uh, as we have seen from the video from uh, PM Modiji, his campaign uh, to involve overseas Indians in promoting tourism in India is an amazing initiative. AA's goals are very much aligned with this as the tourism, temples, historic places and multi-languages in India bring the unified and dignified culture which we represent here in the US. Uh, PM Modiji has mentioned in multiple occasions inviting NRIs and overseas Indians to bring in their friends and associates to visit India and uh, contribute to building brand India as a tourism destination. And we also understand that uh, Modiji has launched multiple projects related to the tourism sector with worth over 14,000 crore rupees under what he mentioned as Swadesh Darshan and additional schemes, including the project for integrated development of Hazrat Bal Shrain in the city. On behalf of AIA, we congratulate PM Modiji on this great initiative. We will 100% support and not only that, we will enthusiastically pro promote this in our communities. Likewise, I request all the guests who are here to spread the message to make India as a great destination because we have a unique blend of cultural, heritage, spiritual, ecocentric, and rural environments. And uh, on behalf of AIA, once again, I want to congratulate uh, Council General and thanks for inviting us. And to uh, more, know more about our association, you can visit our website, aiaevents.org. Thank you, Council General Office, and thank you, team. Thank you, Mr. Kalyan. Uh, we also have with us some elected representatives and officials, and I would like to recognize their presence. Uh, we have with us San Jose Council Member Arjun Batra and Santa Clara Education Board member Tarak Shri Krishnan. So I would like to invite them on stage to say a few words. Good evening. I'm Arjun Batra, a resident of San Jose for 40 years, 37 years in Almadan. I'm currently the council member for District 10, and I just got in for the election. So the results have just come out. I will be in the runoff for the November. So c continuing to represent our Indo-American community. I think PM Modi's requirement or challenge to us to bring our friends and neighbors to India. I've been doing my part in terms of promoting our culture ever since I've been a council member we have celebrated 
every major cultural event and India's Independence Day at the city of San Jose. On the occasion of Diwali, we had our tower, which is 18 stories long, with the Indian flag, with those all the six times repeated over there for full one week. Okay, on the occasion of Diwali, Independence Day. So our job is to make sure that our Indian culture, which is rich of all the traditions, is fully understood by others. By taking people to India, that destination, we're really exposing them to our culture and the understanding to live in peace with everybody else. Because Indian culture teaches us the diversity and living in peace with other people. So, Consul General, thank you for your presence here. And... Uh, <laughs> Dr. Chapra Saab, our relationships go all along. <laughs> and AIA. So all these associations have kept our culture, promoted culture here, and this support all our elected officials and in getting them elected. So I had tremendous support from AIA and the, the FOG organizations in the fundraising and all. So I thank everybody here and Chalo India is the message for everybody and we're going to take a lot of people there and we are going to bring the culture here. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak. Thank you. Thank you to uh, the council member. Uh, my name is Tara Sri Krishnan. I was the first Indian American um, to serve as a chief of staff for the county of Santa Clara and first Indian American to be elected to the Santa Clara County Board of Education. Uh, you know, I serve. Thank you, I wear that with a lot of pride. Um, and so currently serving are over um, 31 school districts in Santa Clara County and over 270,000 public school students to give them a good education. Um, so I'm honored to be here in community with you with other leaders and mentors and our council general. Um, and I'll also share, as the council member shared, um, I have uh, advanced in my election uh, to be the first woman of Hindu faith for the entire California state legislature in our history. So thank you for that. So, yeah, so I'll be uh, uh, hopefully soon in the California State Assembly um, and honored to serve my community with a focus on our early learners um, rooted in education, health, and well-being for families. Uh, so I'm honored to be here today um, as someone who works in the state legislature right now to help uh, promote tourism to India. You know, in my district, about half the district's Asian American, uh, about half are immigrants, which is similar to my story. Um, my parents are immigrants from Kerala, you know, that came to our district for a better life, uh, for a better education for their um, children, myself and my brother who's a doctor at UCSF. And I think, you know, it's events like this that help connect us and connect us to where we came from and promote tourism and economic growth and well-being for our families. So thank you so much. It's an honor to be here today. Thank you. Thank you, Tara, for your words and for joining us today. We also have with us Mr. Ajay Bhutoria, who is advisor to uh, President Biden. I would like to invite him on stage to say a few words. Thank you so much. Honorable Councillor General, Honorable Deputy Councillor General, community leaders. It's such a great honor with the new, with the great initiative, Chalo India. You know, when it comes, uh, U.S.-India partnership is one of the most strongest partnership right now. And it's built because of the people-to-people -people relationship. The relationship which each of you have built at diverse levels, whether business-to-business, industry-to-industry, and with people-to-people. -people. So we see regularly now Bay Area folks having their family weddings taking place in Rajasthan or in you know different parts of India and uh, with, uh, whether it's going to the backwaters of Kerala or whether it's going to the beautiful uh, places in Srinagar or visiting the uh, you know Assam and temples in uh, all the Jyotirlinga temples across the country or going to Ram temple uh, as uh, Dr. Japraji mentioned it's a beautiful place country and and uh, connecting our friends from all over 
over the country and showing them our culture they are interested in yoga yoga has become the major part of you know our routine life for every american out here uh, meditation or uh, connecting with uh, you know vegetarian i mean uh, vegetarianism or vegan vegan way of style of food and these all comes from our land i mean and and there's so much more for us to offer there in terms of uh, peace in terms of traveling whether visiting the lakshadweep or with visiting the beautiful isle, islands of uh, and water you know uh, around the country goa uh, so there's so many places and that's something which each of us um, we can plan to take few friends uh, during our next visit and also build a bilateral you know travel uh, from every city whether we take the mayor of and city of fremont to travel to meet the folks there in, uh, and build stronger relationships establish more education we have 280000 students coming here every year and there could be opportunities now where uh, this us uh, universities are opening campuses going to open campuses in different parts of the country so this is only going to grow and with each of us taking uh, you know uh, leadership roles in making this movement forward in next 5 to 5 years i think india can become the major hub of uh, tourism and uh, so with that thank you so much Chalo India. Thank you, Mr. Batoria, for your insights. So now, before we conclude this event, I would like to thank you all for taking out time from your busy schedules to join us for this event. It's wonderful having you all here. We look forward to your continuous support and contribution towards taking India forward. A huge round of applause for everyone for joining us here today and making this a successful event. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.